There was one time our granddad Piggott come down Stoke with us. We used to go down every home match years ago. There was May, Daft Sam Thorley, Ecker, Big Bopper, Nostrils Moffitt, Stotty, Lip Buster Grattan. There was about ten on his years to go down. Of course, we'd all meet up in Tommy Dawkins' pub at dinner time, get some ale diners, then go down both an end. Daft Sam, I used to work on this engineering firm, and I used to make these, like, it, what he used to do is graft like little lumps of lead onto our dart flights. He used to chuck them, you know, it's good for miles, they would. <laughs> Got one of them back of the head, and it did just clear the passages. <laughs> Any road, this particular day, still complete Derby. And our granddad pick it as a till house end. So let Buster Gratton says, come down Stoke with us. He says, I'll tap the dine on the back of my bike. Well, he's just to say, now granddad pick it in a crash helmet. <laughs> Remember them old Dan Dare comics? <laughs> the Mekon. Remember the Mekon, that bloody thing with no ears and a big grain head? <laughs> Ellick spit image on it in big Gullickson's crash helmet. And here he goes down there. And where you stand about if we dine back at both an end. And of course, our granddad won a very big. And I started chuncing and cossing because I couldn't say. I says, this isn't the place for they, the host. I says, oath pensioners go over in the stands. If Stokes score, they can get carried down these five, next five steps. <laughs> I'm stopping here, I says. If anybody jostles me, I'll jostle them back. Well, anyhow, trouble started just after eighth time. There was about 50 Derby supporters back at the goal. And Stoke had just equalised. Of course, he's just good to greet Serge forward. And our granddad starts cossing, and our lot started taunting these Derby supporters. Well, everything seemed happen at once then. This fight broke out just below us, and there was about two dozen on them had worked the road backwards, and they were about ten yards away. Our granddad Piggott shouts, Come on, the heads! And a beer bottle at him side of the chops. <laughs> well, next minute, our hell was let loose. Our lot went fighting like hell with these Derby supporters. And this big and come for me, big curly hairs youth he was, with a face like a welder's bench. <laughs> he took a swing at me, and it looked like a bunch of bananas coming with a black and white scarf tied around it. <laughs> I ducked, his fist carried on, and sent out Grandad Piggott into the middle of the following wick. <laughs> it was a great clock winder, I tell thee. It was a good job as though Tup had got a solid yet. I wouldn't have liked to have stopped it. He went behind our collar studio with Barry he did. The next thing I knew, I was on flower and there was three on them atop on me. Well, there was blood, sweat, tears, oggy, 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 and I, all silver lining doing there was. <laughs> and all of a sudden, somebody had got me back of the neck, yanked me to me feet, and it was a bobby. Bump, bang, crash, down they steps I went, and we were all dragged out and lined up again this woe. My and Nostrils Moffat had got a face like a sack of spuds. <laughs> they got about eight a dozen or so of these Derby supporters, bundling them in this van. Then, just as they went tacking his names and addresses, SOS from back of the goal. This inspector says, get down there quick. He says, there's an old bloke. He's taken his braces off and tied a crash helmet to him. <laughs> he says, and he's swinging it round his head like a bloody great shillelagh. He's going through them derby supporters like a threshing machine. Get in there, he says. Well, they forgot all about us then. Of course, we got over this woe and we went across the car park and we, we went hell for leather up Wielden Road then. We got away, say. I took 12 on them, pacify out Grandad Piggott. I didn't attack much finding. I got 10 yards of space on those sides on him. <laughs> and there was 35,000 down there that day. Come here and fight, I says. Woo, woo, this crash helmet was going. If ever it's hit anybody, it'd have killed him. All of a sudden, things come to a sudden end. His trousers fell down. <laughs> His legs tied him sends in a knot. And he stopped swinging, but the crash helmet kept going. And his brace, he's pinned his arms to his sides, say. Although <laughs> they had to do, they had to just give a quick pull on his shirt flap and carry him out to the grind, oven ready and cossing like a navvy. <laughs> he's never been down stoke from that day to this. I got fined 25 quid. It was a lot of money that was in them days, I tell thee. Disorderly conduct, breach of the peace, bad language, there's about 12 charges all gather. But they reckon folks' his memories are short, they noticed. But they notice. The end of many good time when Stoke played Derby. <laughs>